Hello Capricorn, Elsie here to do a reading. It is for the week ahead, my friends. How are you Capricorn? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you. If you are brand new and you've never been here before, welcome, welcome. That subscription button is on the corner there, in the bottom right hand corner where it usually is. <laughs> and if you want to uh, subscribe and stay, this Capricorn tribe has been growing really quickly. In, fast ca in fact, Capricorn, your tribe is growing the fastest over the last two weeks. Thank you so much for, um, for subscribing, first of all. And because uh, a lot of people come by and watch and they've not subscribed. So thanks for doing that. I appreciate you. We are going to read for the week ahead as we always do. It is for the week ahead, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Whether you get that today, tomorrow, or next year, it's always going to be for the week ahead. We're going to do a nine card draw. Cappies, let's find out what's coming up for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn, please. We've got the Three of Wands, Capricorn. We've got the Ace of Cups and the Sun. Interesting. I feel like you you have been waiting on something and I feel like it's about to arrive because this... I feel like you've been patient. You've had your back to it, Capricorn. I feel like it's some sort of a wish fulfillment. It could possibly be in love or it could be just the beginning of something that's going to make you really emotionally happy. And I think that the reason that it's showing up this way is because you have decided that you're going to grow regardless of what's been going on, regardless of whatever you've been waiting for that may not be showing up right away. I feel like you have decided, look, I'm just going to move on. I'm going to put my back to the situation. That's exactly how you manifest, by the way, right? It's exactly Exactly how you manifest when you decide what you want and then you just you you go about your business you ask the universe for it you don't keep asking is it now is it coming is it here what's going on where is it where is it where is it tell me about the ending LC tell me about what's going on right now like that's not what you're into I feel like you've put your back to it and you've decided to focus on you focus on you in the Sun you're really going over the self with a fine-tooth comb I feel like you're seeing yourself in this energy of love for the very first time, Capricorn. You are love. And I think that you've realized it because the sun is out. And you have your back to whatever else is going to arrive. Because you know what? What's coming in is much of the same because you attract what you are right? You can't attract what you are not. <laughs> you cannot. And I feel like with you being ready and open with the universe saying, look, I'm ready for love. I'm ready to, you know, there's a lotus flower on here, regardless of what mud I've been stuck in. I'm really grateful for it. And I feel like somebody here is, is ready to go on some sort of new path of love. But I want to say for you, Capricorn, that it feels like that you are attracting what you are and what you are is the sun and the ace of cups. I think that's really beautiful. So I feel like you you have decided that you are no longer going to wait because the ships that are coming in, they're going to come in regardless, right? Uh, whatever's meant for you never passes you by. Even if it even if it shows up to you when you're not ready for it and you send it away, it's going to try and come back again. You never have to worry about that. If it is really truly for you, it's going to show up when it's supposed to show up. And it will continually come back around until you get the lesson. So I feel like you have decided that you're no longer going to wait. And it doesn't mean that you're no longer going to wait, but it means you're no longer going to wait. Like you're no longer going to be wondering where it is obsessively thinking about it. You're no longer in this obsession, this thought pattern of where's mine, right? Feeling like a child who is who has not gotten their dessert. <laughs> I feel like you stopped stomping your feet. You turned your back on the manifestation. And I feel like that's when it comes in. When you detach from, from this manifestation or you say to the universe, look, I'm just going to concentrate on loving me super, super hard with the sun here. I feel like you are ready to uh, pull away or turn your back on because we do see we do see this person's back. We also see this person's back. So you really have turned your back from the universe and said, "Look, if it's going to if it's going to arrive, it's going to arrive. There's nothing I can do to make it arrive any sooner." And then here comes the king of wands. That's what it feels like here. I feel like what your manifestation is for some of you could be the king of wands. Um, person who is maybe Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, some sort of a fire sign. Or please understand that this can be a person. But please also understand that as an energy reader, I know that this is an energy. No matter what sign they are, I feel like this person is somebody who is stepping forward in the sunlight. So that means that they're not going to want to see you in the dark. You're not the nighttime friend. You're not the one where they just come over to your place and we eat snacks and do the do the horizontal hula. <laughs> That's not what's going on here. I feel like what's going on here is that there is somebody who's about to pursue you, who's very passionate about you, very good looking, and is very attracted to you. And I feel like it is, it is um, the... Uh, this person is going to see you in the daylight. They're going to see you as the sun. They're going to see the whole you, the person you've been working on, the person that you are. They're going to see you as love. 
Tell me more about Capricorn. We've got the Three of Pentacles. We've got the Two of Wands. And we've got the High Priestess, bottom of the deck. We have the Lovers. Look at that. Very interesting. So I want to say that um, I feel like it is in the week ahead, probably midweek, that somebody here has decided, you know what, I'm just going to turn my back on the situation. I don't really care if it comes in. I'm not really sure if it's going to arrive, but, you know, I'm happy with me. I'm happy uh, to be at the beginning of a cycle and ready with a cup and uh, being in the sun. So I want to say that you are um, enveloped in love, I want to say. The sun, of course, is Leo energy, but um, we do have the ace of cups next to it. And this person is really happy. They're very happy. They're in a growth spurt physically, uh, spiritually, mentally, probably in your career as well. Think the sun is shining on you. And um, we do have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Swords is in the reverse, which tells me that you're no longer going to keep yourself trapped in this mental prison of where is it, where is it, where is it, when is it coming? So many people that come to me for private readings want to know the date. They want to know the time. And that's not the way to call it in. If the universe thinks that you need it, if you give the universe um, the indication that you need it and you must have a time frame and you, it, you're never going to get it. It's not coming to you. I'm just going to say when the universe knows that you need it, it's not going to arrive. So you need to let go of needing it. And I think this tells me that you have finally let go of the need for it. I feel like um, that you are, what you've done is, is, is you've decided, you know what, I'm not going out with my friends or my, uh, my besties, or um, I'm not going out into public with the um, position of I need to find a mate. I don't think that's what you're doing. I feel like you've let go of it. I feel like now you've you've let go of waiting. Now you're free to make friendships. Now you're free to find your own community. You're free to find people who you can network with who are on your side and you're on their side. So I feel like this is sort of a new adventure that's coming up in the future here. It feels like you are preparing. Um, your intuitive energy here is telling me that you are preparing to let go of whatever you thought your life may be like. And that is the key, right? That's the key, Capricorn. Capricorn. Whatever you think your life is supposed to be like, let go of that. Let the universe just take care of that for you and stop planning for what's arriving. I feel like for some of you in the future, what is arriving is communication from somebody who you consider to be a soulmate. That's what it feels like. Somebody who somebody who you love, somebody who loves you, and I feel like it's somebody you would choose. So whether we're talking about a best friend or a lover, somebody who is romantically connected to you, I feel like that's about to come in. You're about to get communication from that person. I feel like you, with the nine of... The Nine of Wands and the Judgment card, it feels like at first you're giving it the side eye. I want to be honest with you. I feel like you're giving it the side eye because I feel like you've had enough. You've had enough of people mistreating you. You're exhausted with it. And I feel like it's like you're, you're right here making the decision. Should I even pick up the text? Should I just leave it on red? Should I? You know, it's like this, this decision, whatever you make, is going to change your life. And so we do have some sort of a long period of time that you've been waiting for me. Pentacles as a reader is years. So um, you may be waiting for a year to hear from this person. And so I feel like you finally turned your back on whatever the judgment is. I feel like you finally turned your back here on this Knight of Pentacles saying, fine, you know what, if it's not coming, it's not coming. I'm going to stop waiting, get out of my head, and I'm going to get out there and be social, make friends, do some things that I want to do for me. And I feel like it naturally comes in in the future, to be honest. So we do have, um, like I said, the Two of Wands tells me that there is a preparation here. I feel like you're so happy that you don't even notice all of this other stuff going on, but you've let go of some sort of an emotional thing. You finally released it. You finally released something from the past Capricorn, which is going to allow you to go forward. Now, the King of, of Wands can be someone who is going to pursue you, but understand it could be you taking a step out and going out with your friends, pursuing happiness, pursuing what makes you feel passionate and fun. Maybe it's a, it's um, maybe you're going to take a trip. Maybe whatever it is, I feel like you can see now exactly either who this person is for some of you who this is a person, or you can exactly see now what it is that you need to do. And what you need to do is follow your passions. You need to pursue whatever it is that makes you happy. I feel like coming up in the future here that you are far more connected to the self than you've ever been. I feel like um, you are preparing um, through your intuitive, psychic intuitive energy. You could have Pisces energy connected to you, maybe in your chart, but it feels like you are preparing um, intuitively to get out there and make some friends, get out there and make some connections, networking with people without 
without the idea of, oh, I'm going to meet my next love connection. I feel like you're you're so in love with yourself here that I don't think that that's what you're doing. I don't think you're going out anymore with the, uh, with the thought of, oh, am I ever going to meet the person that's going to fall in love with me? I think you've got your back to it. You've released it and you've disconnected emotionally from needing it. Uh, I feel like you don't need it any longer. Tell me why the Eight of Swords is in the reverse. Tell me what um, what Capricorn has released. Tell me what Capricorn has released. Because I feel like you were stuck in your head for a long time waiting. But I think you finally turned your back on the waiting. Yeah. The Seven of Wands is here with the Knight of Cups. There it is in the Eight of Cups. So you've detached from the idea of, I'm waiting for a romantic connection. I'm waiting for a romantic partner. Because life is more than just finding someone who's outside of us. And really, for those of, for, for those of us who are waiting for someone to heal us, come into our lives and make us feel worth something, you got a lot of work to do. I'm just saying, if you cannot be happy like this, who and I think I'm talking to the majority Capricorns, because understand it's a collective, right? I read the collective energy. The majority energy is what's coming through. So I think for most of you, you're so damn happy and in love with yourself that you're not even waiting for this. I want to say with the Seven of Wands, you're standing your ground. I'm no longer going to wait. I'm not going to waste my time waiting for love. There's so many other things out there I could do. I could learn a new skill. Look, if you're having a, a dopamine problem, you don't need a hit of another person telling you that that what your worth is. What you need to do is get out and learn something new, something creative. Go roller skating, do painting, learn how to play some sort of a... Um, Learn how to play some sort of a, a, a new instrument or something. That's where you're going to get the dopamine hit is when you are in the creative mode. And I feel like you're you're holding your ground with the Knight of Cups. You're like, it can take as long as it needs to to get here. I don't really care because I feel like you're happy within yourself anyway. And you've emotionally detached from the idea um, that there is anything coming in. I feel like you're okay with um, nothing coming in. I want to say, tell me with the Eight of Cups, please. We've got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. We've got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're out there to have fun. Your intuitive energy is telling you, your psychic intuition is telling you, you know what? It's time for you to find the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is singular. The Ace of Wands is for you. You get to pick what you want to do. I feel like it's time for you to grow because we do have the Ace of Wands here and the Ace of Wands has all of these little bits up here that are starting to sprout and you get to make the decision about where you're going to invest and where you're not going to invest. I feel like I'm talking to a Capricorn who is really into their intuitive self. Now you're finally listening to you and I feel like you're disconnecting from the need to have some sort of somebody show up to you and want to invest in you. I really do. I feel like you you couldn't care less. And guess what? When you couldn't care less, when you finally love you and you're like, no, uh, I'm not into that. Guess what's showing up? You're going to have so many opportunities showing up to you that you're not going to know what to do with them. And I think that the King of Wands is representative of that. Um, the King of Wands is somebody who is a go-getter, right? They always get what they want. And that, that could be you or that could be someone else. Take it as it resonates for you. But it could be Aries energy, Aries Sagittarius Leo in this general reading. We do have the hermit energy, we have the fool, and we have the devil energy. So I feel like you have decided that you are going to release yourself from any attachments. And that means that I'm going to stop um, placing, um, I feel like you're, how can I say, you're going to stop um trying to see the ending. It's like tarot is about the journey. It's not about, I keep telling people in my private reads, right? Tarot is about the journey. It's not about the destination. And I feel like the universe is telling you here, this is the journey. The journey is that once you detach from these, this idea that you don't have enough, that you aren't enough, that you're in scarcity, that you have doubt, once you detach from that, it's only then that you can have the new beginning. It's the, it's the radical acceptance of the present moment, right? We do have the the hermit energy here, which tells me that you've been inward, figuring out what turns you on. <laughs> like, I mean, in life, I feel like whatever causes fire to be in the belly, I feel like that's what you are gaining wisdom about. What is it that I want to do for me? What is it that, do I want to travel? Do I want to play an instrument? Do I want to try painting? Do I want to go on a cruise? What do I want to do? Now you're looking at it from a singular point of view, right? You're looking at it from the singular point of view. You don't really care if anybody's here to invest. You don't really care if there's a new permanent path opening up. You're ready to go out there for fire and action and, and have some fun. I feel like you're 
Your intuitive energy is telling you to figure out what it is that you want to do for yourself and go get it. The fool is here. So once you do, go over the details. Make sure you're careful about it. Don't make any quick moves. I wouldn't say rush at it. But I feel like what you're doing is you're finally deciding to let go of all of these... Um, um, what is the word? All of these uh, things that you hoped or wished for that would happen in the future, you're now living in the present moment. That's what this is, right? That's the present moment. And as you live more in the present moment, guess what shows up, right? There's love. The Ace of Cups is right up here. So I feel like you've already gone through this process of realizing how much you love you. And uh, I feel like you are about to go on an adventure because the Two of Wands is here. You're about to make a decision intuitively about some sort of um, three of Pentacles thing, a partnership of some sort. It could be a business partnership. It could be someone that you meet in the 3D that you end up traveling with, having a lot of fun with. We have the Seven of Cups, we have the Moon card, and we have the Eight of Swords. So it feels like, um, I want to say that you are, you. it feels like you're not quite comfortable about not knowing what's coming up. And I want to say that that is the best thing to do, is get, uncomf get comfortable with being uncomfortable and not really knowing what's about to arrive. I feel like you're, you're in your head, in this moon energy here, feeling it out, saying, I don't know what's coming, and I'm sort of worried about what is going to arrive. I'm going to say get into it with your intu intu intuition. That means you need to meditate more. You need to connect to your source more, whether that's prayer or meditation or whatever it is that you're doing with your intuitive energy. I feel like there is a lot of opportunities. Like there's so many things that you can do with this time that you have right now. You have this life to figure out what it is that you love and you don't love. And I feel like one of the things that you really do love is you. So I feel like you're kind of at this point where I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm obsessively thinking about it over and over. I feel like you have so many opportunities. That's why you're doing it. But I think that somebody here is a bit worried with the moon energy about what might arrive. What do I want to do? I'm not really sure. I can't see the way clear. I want to say use your intuition to feel it out. So I do feel like what's coming here for some of you is that once you do finally turn your back, once you stop, um, once, once you decide that it's all about you and all about you loving you, I feel like this is what goes down. I really do feel like you will be getting some communication or things start moving forward with some sort of a, a love soulmate energy, some sort of a deep soulmate energy. But first you have to decide to drop the wands. You have to stop carrying other people's stuff. You also have to stop carrying yours. So if that means you need to get into psychology to do that, then do it. But you need to get on a different path here because there's things that are lining up that are ready for you. Look at this happiness, the four of wands. Happy stability is coming. And so I feel like you're going to have to make some sort of decision about this nine of wands. Are you going to keep carrying other people's burdens? Are you going to keep carrying your burdens? Or is this the place where you're going to put it down? Because the ace of wands is here. Nine and one is ten. You can throw it down when you want to. I feel like there is something coming in for you here. And we do have the death card and the ten of pentacles. Look at that. So there is some sort of abundance, maybe a windfall, could be a long-term relationship for some of you, but change is here. Something has ended, so now something must appear. Somebody's on their way. That's what it looks like, the three of wands here. Somebody is on their way. This person's got their back to it. This person has decided they've taken the ace of wands with them, and they've decided it's time to go. This is you, the intuitive self, deciding it's time to go. This person has the one wand and is leaving the two behind. So I feel like something is about to change, something is about to end, and you're about to find all the beautiful money, abundance, long-term relationship, whatever this Ten of Pentacles is, you're about to come into something that's really a big, beautiful, abundant blessing. It's going to pull you out of this energy of being stuck in the comfort zone here. I'm going to leave it right there. Thanks, Capricorn, for being here. I do appreciate you. I'm going to go for now, and I'll be back because I'm always back. Take care. Bye-bye.